Business Done Right, Why WWE TNA Partnership Has Been a Success. Not long ago, the thought of the prohibital portal opening up between WWE and another wrestling company would have sounded absurd. WWE long seen itself as the superior brand, and not only did it seem like there was animosity between it and any other company, mingling with each promotion would have been a waste of time, to WWE at least. Crazy how much things can change. The prohibital portal has not only been opened, but the door has been kicked down, thanks to the partnership with WWE and Total Non-Stop Action Wrestling, TNA. We are open for business, WWE Chief Content Officer Paul Triple H Levesque said after SummerSlam 2024. Since TNA Knockouts World Champion Jordine Grace appeared in the 2024 Royal Rumble, WWE and TNA have spent the past few months exchanging talent, allowing its stars to appear on each other's shows. At first, it was like seeing your elementary school teacher outside of class. But fast forward to now, fans have gotten accustomed to the crossovers and been elated with every single appearance. They've gotten to see plenty of up-and-coming stars ready to be headliners in the next generation of wrestling. This partnership between TNA Wrestling and WWE has been the perfect example of business done right. Business done right is where every single party wins. As fans made it known they believed in Hendry in WWE, the Scottish star didn't know if that long, long dream of appearing in a company was going to happen. But he said he could see sense something in the air, knowing that it was time to shine. Hendry said he made it clear to the company executives to let him make the jump. And not long after, he was making the WWE Performance Center erupt. The moment his illustrious music hit. Hendry always smiles when he turns to face the camera and makes his walk down the ramp but it is a genuine happiness coming from him. It was extremely validating moment. You can see in my face when I walk out, he said. I do the face and I'm almost shocked for the moment on how big the reaction is. Other people to make the jump include Trey Miguel and Zachary Wentz. They appeared to join WWE Wesley making the return to the Radicals. The group, the three stars, they were climbed up the wrestling ranks and eventually landed in TNA. Lee and Wentz was also proving their tag team in WWE, the MSK. When Miguel and Wentz were told about the idea, they were both giddy and all on board about reuniting the group. When they joined Lee on July 9th, the crowd also got hyped, seeing the trio together once again and the TNA talent fell in love. So what makes WWE and TNA partnership a success. As strange as it may seem for WWE to do a partnership, it's nothing new for TNA, as it's worked with promotions all across the globe. Most recently, TNA worked with All Elite Wrestling from 2020 to 2021. Even though this is a regular business for TNA, something about the deal with WWE feels different, and the talent notices it. McGill didn't say which company it was, but in a recent partnership, he didn't seem the benefits in his workplace much. The last time we did one of these crossovers, or like working together with another brand, it was very, very one-sided in my opinion. I don't think TNA saw the benefits from it. When the rumblings of partnerships between WWE and TNA began, Miguel was reluctant to think it would be different. Turns out to be quite the opposite. When Triple H was asked why the crossover started, he said he wanted to find something that would not only be good for WWE, but would also benefit whatever promotion it was working with. The trade-off would be the other company would be on WWE's elevated platform that is viewed worldwide. While its talent could get reps against other stars and learn different, unique styles of wrestling, it will improve their game. So far, things are going according to plan. Miguel added, the partnership works because both companies have a solid understanding it's a give and take situation where sometimes one product will look stronger than the other, even though there will be times one company appears to lose. It's really a win-win the entire time. TNA wins because it's selling out regularly now. Our crowd's getting so big, we're getting so much from the increased exposure. WWE, 
a lot of their NXT talents are getting the opportunity to perform for different audiences. Wrestlers win, the fans win because it's an exciting product. Hearing on WWE program isn't the only benefit Hendry is reaping. He's also been able to train at the WWE Performance Center, gaining knowledge and experience from other sets of trainers. He said WWE has given him extremely vulnerable insight and information during his training and he's grateful for TNA allowing him to do so while managing his priorities with his place of work. It has sure made him a busy man, but it has shown him the positive intentions of all parties. But none of this would be possible, Hendry said, if Grace didn't excel when she made a surprise appearance at the Royal Rumble. In his view, she didn't just open the door, she busted it right through, allowing anyone to cross through. There are limited possibilities, of where each company could take their steps together. Seeds have been planted for a long time storytelling that could end the year or maybe into 2025. None of it will matter if one or both companies decided to end it, but it doesn't appear to be heading that way anytime soon. Let us know what you think in the comments below, whether you think this WWE and TNA combination works or do you think it's better as separate promotions. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to our channel.